Well, uh, this is nice. We don't have a lot of company over. That's not true. Coop, Polly, and Wallowitz come over all the time. Yeah, I know. Tuesday night we but... play thing on Boggle until one in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I remember. I resent you saying we don't have company. I'm sorry. That was an antisocial implication. I said I'm sorry. So, thing on Boggle? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like regular Boggle, except in Klingon. That's probably enough about us. Uh, tell us about you. <laughs> <laughs> Me! Um, okay, I'm Sagittarius, which probably tells you more than you need to know, but... Yes, it tells us that you participate in the mass cultural delusion that the sun's apparent position relative to arbitrarily defined constellations in the time of your birth somehow affects your personality. <laughs> <laughs> Participate in what? I think what Sheldon's trying to say is that Sagittarius wouldn't have been our first guess. Oh yeah, a lot of people think I'm a water sign. Okay, let's see, what else? Oh, I'm a vegetarian, except for fish. And the occasional steak. I love steak. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Leonard can't process corn. <laughs> Uh, what, uh, do you have some kind of job? Oh uh, yeah, I'm a waitress at the Cheesecake Factory. Oh, uh, okay. I, I love cheesecake. You're lactose intolerant. Uh, I don't eat it. I just think it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyways, I'm also writing the screenplay. It's about this sensitive girl who moves to LA from Lincoln, Nebraska to become an actress and ends up a waitress at the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> <laughs> so it's based on your life? No, I'm from Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that was a movie, I, I'd go see it. I know, right? Let's see, what else? Um, that's about it. That's the story of Penny. Well, it sounds wonderful. It was. Until I fell in love with a jerk! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you know, four years! Four years I lived with him! That's like, as long as high school! It took you four years to graduate high school? <laughs> Don't. I just, I can't believe I trusted him. <laughs> should I say something? I, I feel like I should say something. You? No, you'll make it worse. You want to know the most pathetic part? Even though I hate his lying, cheating guts, I still love him. Is that crazy? Yes. <laughs> no, no, it's no, no, it's not. It's it's not crazy. It's, uh, uh it's it's a paradox, uh, and paradoxes are part of nature. Think think about light. Now, if you look at hydrogens, light is a wave confirmed by the double slit experiments. But then along comes Albert Einstein and discovers the light behaves like particles too. Well, I didn't make it worse. Oh, I'm I'm so sorry. I'm such a mess and. On top of everything else, I'm still gross from moving, and my stupid shower doesn't even work. Uh, our shower works. Really? Would it be totally weird if I used it? Yes. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it's right down the hall. Thanks. You guys are really sweet. This is an interesting development. <laughs> Well, it has been quite some time since we've had a woman take her clothes off in our apartment. <laughs> That's not true. Remember at Thanksgiving, my grandmother with Alzheimer's had that episode. <laughs> Point taken. It's been quite some time since we've had a woman take off her clothes, and we didn't want to rip out our eyes. <laughs> the worst part was watching her carve that turkey. <laughs> My 
my brother was having absolutely no luck in love. I was wondering if he was just a loser or if he was just not trying hard enough. So I sat down with him and got him registered for eHarmony. Matter of factly, eHarmony has the most success of matching couples that many times end up getting married. Within two months, he had gone on several dates and found the girl for him. eHarmony matched them so perfectly. Their likes, dislikes, beliefs, and even hobbies. So now, I created my own profile. Check me out, Micah T-Boys. After all, we all deserve a harmonious life. And now back to your regularly scheduled program, The Big Bang Theory on CBS. So what exactly are you trying to accomplish here? Excuse me? That woman in there is not going to fall in love with you. Well, I'm not trying to fall in love with her. Well good, then you won't be disappointed. What makes you think she wouldn't fall in love with me? I'm a male and she's a female. Yes, but not of the same species. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to gauge in hypotheticals here. I'm just trying to be a good neighbor. Oh, of course. That's not to say if a carnal relationship were to develop that I wouldn't participate. However, briefly. <laughs> and do you think this possibility will be helped or hindered whenever she discovers your Luke Skywalker No More Tears shampoo? It's Darth Vader shampoo. Luke Skywalker is the conditioner. It's fantastic. Unbelievable. <laughs> See what? It's a Stephen Hawking lecture from MIT in 1974. This is not a good time. It's before he got his creepy computer voice. That's great. You guys have to go. Why? It's just not a good time. Leonard has a lady over. Yeah, right. Your grandmother back in town? No, she's not a lady. She's just a new neighbor. Hang on. So there really is a lady here? Uh-huh. Hey, is there a trick for getting to switch from tub to shower? Oh, uh, Hi. S sorry. <laughs> I'm Shantae, mademoiselle. Howard Baldwitz, Caltech Department of Applied Physics. You may be familiar with some of my work. It's currently orbiting Jupiter's largest moon, taking high-quality pictures. Hey, I work at the Cheesecake Factory. Come on, I'll show you a trick to the shower. On douche. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's French for good shower. It's a sentiment I can express in six languages. Save it for your blog, Howard. He cut Tom Guai out. We don't have a lot of company over. That's not true. Guther, Polly, and Wallowitz come over all- I don't know, I don't know. Oh. Wait, are we, uh, cut? That's not true. Guther, Polly, and Wallowitz come over all the time. Yeah, I know, but- Tuesday night we play Klingon Bo Boggle until one in the morning. Yes, it tells us that you participate in the mass cultural delusion that the sign's apparent position relative to arbitrarily what? Really defined constellation. Touch. Oh yeah, a lot of people think I'm a water sign. That's interesting. Leonard can't cross up, cross Cut. Oh yeah, I'm a waitress at the Cheesecake Factory. I, I, I don't eat it, I just think it's a good idea. 
It's about this sensitive girl who moves to LA from Lincoln, Nebraska to become an actress and winds up a waitress at the Cheesecake Factory. It's about this sensitive girl who moves to LA from Lincoln, Nebraska to become an actress and ends up a waitress at the Cheesecake Factory. It's about this sensitive girl who comes to LA from Lincoln, Nebraska. Go. I know, right? Let's see, what else? Cut. He said, it's one. <laughs> Three, two. Well, it sounds one. It was. Until I fell in love with a chair! <laughs> it took you four years to graduate high school? I just. I can't believe I trusted him. Yeah, should, should I say something? I feel like I should say something. I just, I can't believe I trusted him. Should, should I say, say <laughs> something? Should, should I say something? Uh, our, sh our shower works. Well, this is an interesting development. <laughs> this is an interesting development. Okay, cut. Give me a second. The worst part was watching her carve that turkey. So what exactly are you trying to accomplish here? Excuse me? That woman in there is not going to fall in love with you. Well, I'm not trying to fall in love with her. Oh good, then you won't be disappointed. What makes you think she wouldn't fall in love with me? I'm a male and she's a female. Yes, but not of the same species. Good. Action. So what exactly are you trying to accomplish here? Excuse me? That woman in there is not going to fall in love with you. Action. It's Darth Vader shampoo. Luke Skywalker. Action. See Kwa Jong tie it down. That's a Jong. 